young when they came out. So therefore, and we don't remember ourselves in those pictures. So therefore, in the colorama, we're a little bit. But I will say that our mom has done for many years, informed us about the colorama, talked to us about the colorama. And it was really her birthday that really brought this idea to fruition. We wanted to do something for her birthday. It was her 80th last August. And we got together and we decided this might be a nice way to honor her and honor our family by doing this. And I have to say, and I think we both would say, that the Eastman House has been wonderful to work with. We've it's enjoyed it. that they got everything done as quickly as they did. I was amazed because this was a, a, a little dream last summer that started. And now we're here in, here in the midst of it, and it's amazing. It's unbelievable. I, um, I was with Kodak for 68 to 70 when we were at, on East Avenue, and then we moved, moved over to Kodak office. And then we shot many coloramas in the 70s, late 70s and early 80s. We hired in the models and we'd have model tests every two weeks. And we had a drawer full of models, local models that were from babies on up to people in their 80s. Sybil Shepherd worked with us for 10 days. In fact, we shot in the Eastman House back then. So it was fun. It was a great job. And a delight to work with all the photographers. This is an early one in 1968. It's before my time at the photo illustrations department because I spent 25 years in the research lab and while I was working in the research lab doing all the testing of cameras and film, I always dreamed of doing a Colorama picture and working at Kodak office. Of course, it was a dream. I never thought that would happen. I had my first assignment with my idol photographer Neil Montanas, and we both did a 100th anniversary with half the picture was sepia and half of it was color. And that I had my name on the colorama with Neil Montanas, and that was a biggie. That was a real biggie. I think it's, 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 it's quite a, an honor to, to Kodak to have this kind of exhibit and to see this many people turn out for it. Um, with me being a photographer at Kodak, it was my job, so you never know what the public is thinking. Uh, I think it's a great tribute. I'm Pat Callahan, and I was in a colorama 50 years ago. Uh, I look back at those days and, and think of all the nice people that I met concerned with it all, and the photographers, who sadly most of them aren't around anymore. But they were in our house, they were kind of like celebrities. I have my favorites, of course, I think everybody does. But the one where they're packing up from the summer vacation, and the father is standing in front of the family station wagon with just a million suitcases and all kinds of stuff like, where am I going to put all this? I look back, and that's kind of how our family was when we went on a vacation. It just seems so real to me, and um, I don't know, I think Kodak ads were always fun to look at because you never knew who you were going to see in it, usually it, you knew somebody. It's amazing as so many people have said to me, oh my goodness, even uh, my mother's cousin is in one of the pictures, and a friend of mine from high school that came here to visit today, his mother is in one, not in one of these, but it's amazing how many local people have been in these coloramas for years and years and years. Well, my name is Michelle Allen Kelly, and um, I joined Kodak in 1982. I worked with, on one colorama with Norm Kerr. Um, it was a Christmas scene, and it was in 1984 that we shot it. Online. I was the junior photographer. Um, I was the only female photographer that they ever had in that department as well, so they gave me a hard time for a long time. <laughs> well, the baby colorama is probably one of the most well-known ones. Um, I actually started about the time when they were shooting that one, so it was very exciting to be a part of seeing how it was done in the studio. And so, actually, I remember being in the studio and thinking, what are they doing with all these kids here? No one is going to like this. And 
but that was really the consensus for most of the people. Most of corporate and so forth didn't even like that picture. And Sam and Marty were the ones that kind of worked really hard to get it to be one of the most popular ones. I know a lot of the people that have passed on would just come up out of their graves for this moment because this is really wonderful. Well, my name is Don Maggio. Uh, I've been a photographer at Kodak for 40 years. Uh, traveled all over the world taking pictures. I uh, did Coloramas in Grand Central Station. And I used to take a lot of pictures like in Singapore, Egypt, or Japan. And what we did was we made small Coloramas for all the airports. And uh, they were very successful, I'll tell you. Working with Kodak was wonderful. I met my wife there, she was my stylist. Where else could you get a job where they give you the film and the cameras and say, here, here's a ticket to go to Egypt. Let's take some pictures. <laughs> oh, this is a, a stunning body of work. I just, uh, it makes me proud uh, to be uh, my dad's son, uh, you know, to know the work that, uh, that he accomplished and see it together here uh, is, is really a, a tribute to all the great photography that took place through Kodak and uh, is a tribute to our country uh, and to the world. This is really a gift uh, to the entire world to see this together. This night, tonight, opening night, uh, beyond my fondest expectations has been the sense of community that has developed here. Um, this is the Colorama Club. We have had occasion to sit with people uh, who are the photographers, who were the models, uh, people who are descendants of those who made this great image achievement possible. Uh, and it's this sense of community that a museum strives for. Uh, what a magnet, what a magnet to, uh, around which to gather uh, and learn and uh, share experience with one another.